Hello guys, welcome to All Over the Mechanic and today's episode uh, we have some Kia for today and we have some troubleshooting episode for today I'll show you what's going on here try to start the car and the airbag lights on there yep, the airbag lights is on the, that sign hopefully my camera can see it that sign yep yep that sign that's the one that's uh we're gonna diagnose the airbag lights and we'll try to put some scan tools uh if what's the code and i think horn is working yeah horn is working so i thought maybe possible clock spring but yeah horn is working so we're gonna diagnose that one what's going on and we're gonna put some scan tools and see how it goes. Okay, we have one code for the airbag and all the thing has no, yeah, no fault code. Just only one for the airbag. We'll check that one. What's going on here? So driver airbag, resistance too high. Driver airbag. Hmm. Driver airbag. We'll check that one. What's that code on my computer? And I will uh, uh, check if what's that one. Try to erase it. If it came back. Yep. It won't erase. So there's something wrong. yep still still there so it won't erase and we're gonna diagnose what's going on with this one okay according to here Haynes Pro uh, that's the sim that's the code for our airbag and yeah we're gonna do the clock spring faulty clock spring so we'll try to do the clock spring first and see how it goes Okay, this is my new clock spring for the Kia. That's the part number. And I will install this one. Uh, check it first. Yep, that's the new clock spring. And yeah, I'll try to install this one and hopefully it fixes the problem. Airbag lights off already, even without erasing the code. Okay, we're good. Even without erasing the code, airbag lights already off. So yeah, I think we fixed the problem and it's only a clock spring for that co code. Okay, I think uh, that's it for this video guys. Uh, thanks for watching again. And see you in the next video. Oliver, signing out.
sa Diyos ang lahat ng Kapuryan.